Scorpio, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Johnson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, Scorpio, mm, what card do I want to use? These ones. Scorpio, I've been, I've been meditating upon Scorpio. And the words that came to me was, hold on. Okay. Hold on. Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There is also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. If you would like to book a private reading, you have to come to me. I'm never going to come to you. I'm not going to be up in your DMs or in the comments below. That's somebody that's trying to scam you. It's not me. I would never do that. You have to come to me. I like to think that you know people should choose their tarot readers on the vibe that they put out that you know i would feel like the right one for you or you know someone else would feel like the right one for you whoever your favorite youtube tarot reader is we're all kind of pals as well so any of the ones that i've met we all kind of hang out online talk to each other give each other love it's it's a nice community so oh, what's that page of swords hold on all right scorpio why does scorpio need to hold on or what do they need to hold on to or who needs to hold on what's going on Okay, we've got the overall vibe of the reading is the moon. This can be about, you know, things that aren't real, deception, fear. I, I, for some strange reason, I don't know why I want to say time. And the cause of it all is this. Nine of Swords. Hmm. Deception. Nine of Swords. I, I kind of feel like there's this part of you that sort of knew that this was kind of coming and you sort of felt it coming and you sort of felt like, damn, I, sh I should have actually really known better. I should have known better to the let, than to let this get this far. I keep feeling like hold on is not... Whatever past situation, this is not somebody saying hold on, wait for me. This is somebody saying hold on, I'm coming. Wait a minute, don't worry, I'm on my way. And I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it. Somebody's coming. Good. So hold on. Don't don't fall to pieces. It, it they're coming. What you've been through, your whole nine of swords. You sort of you knew it was coming, you sensed it, you felt it, you knew it. If anything, my love's time's taught you well. The doorbell's about to ring. I've just got a notification, so. I'll piece these together when it does. It's my daughter's birthday today, so there's lots of deliveries coming. She's nine today. All right. What do you need to know right now? I've got the Emperor here. I'm coming. Hold on. I keep hearing it. I'm, I'm, just bear with me. I'm, I'm getting there. 
It's like some sort of knight in shining armor. They're like, they're coming to, you don't need rescuing, that's the thing, but they're, they're, that's what they're coming to do. What you've kind of been going through is a situation with somebody who's very domineering and unkind and not what you were kind of hoping or wishing that they would be. You've been through it with this person. You're kind of struggling to let them go, but... I think that's my doorbell about to go. I can hear someone. Hold on. I'm back. I'm back. Sorry. Right. Where was I? So it's a feeling you've been through hell and somebody's coming to uh, save the day, but you don't really need them to save the day. You're pretty good. You're on a little healing journey. You've got, you're after the battle now, so it's kind of already happened. You're after the battle. There's a little part of you that's struggling to let go of the past. I think we can all relate to that, my love, so it's not on you. Seems like somebody, the person you were with were, was very uh, overbearing, domineering. Uh, they wanted it the way they wanted it. Spiteful. I just got spiteful. This person's spiteful. They, uh, I don't know, it's sort of a feeling like if it didn't suit them, They'd rather watch it burn. Kind of like Nero. You know what I mean? Well, I'm just gonna cut my nose off to spite my face. It's a pretty spiteful person. I think they'd lose everything just to prove that they were right about something. In that sense, just so they could say, Well, I win. Whatever. You're moving on, my love. So, hold on. This person's coming into your life, and they're they're not just gonna burst on in like. <laughs> kicking the door open here's your romance they're just gonna sort of enter your life gently here i am before you even notice them unfold into your life here i am oh hey I even kind of feel like this is someone that you're going to talk to about what you've been through. Confide in as a friend. And, uh... I, I, I'm sort of seeing you showing them your wounds. Ah, it hurts here. And I'm like, yeah, that's terrible that that happened. Talk to me, tell me about it. You know, your wounds sort of don't to like feel so bad after soothing words from this person. Like, ah, oh, it hurts here. Ah, oh, it hurts here. And you know, like, oh, that's 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 a shame that that hurts there. Let's talk about it, and then suddenly you feel better. And then suddenly you're like, got that hole. Doctor Kildare syndrome, where I'm like, I'm falling in love with the doctor. I'm falling in love with this person who's been really caring and, and, and helping. Oh my god, I can see a real future with this person. Tell me more. Hold on, I'm coming. Yeah. That, 
that literally says hold on to me. I've got the four of pentacles with holding on to the pentacle. I don't think this is like, you know, sort of falling in love with a therapist or something like that. I don't think it's anything like that. But this person's there for you and they listen and you sort of find yourself falling for them. This is in the future, in the near future. Cutting out what? Cutting out the things that have hurt you in your life. This is This is no good to me. You're cutting it out. Queen of Swords. Ow, that hurt. Mm, cut it out. <laughs> so best you can hope for, six of ones in reverse. Okay. Why? It's, it's, it's difficult because I, I sort of think this person's coming into your life. I keep hearing, hold on, I'm waiting. I'm, just be patient. I'm nearly there. But I sort of kind of feel like they might hold off from you. Even though they're coming into your life. Very healing energy. And you can see a future with this person. I can, I can see that too. I just think that this is somebody who's... not going to get into a situation with someone who's on the rebound they're they're patient enough they can see the bigger picture and see like well you know give them six months they might feel better and i'll still be here and uh you know our friendship might have even progressed from then They don't want to rush things because they they want it to work. They don't want it to be a rebound. And uh, I sort of feel like this might disappoint you a little bit. Let's take a look at this four of cups here. They want to drink from your cup. Yep, yeah, they want to. They're looking up at your cup. You're offering it to them. They, they, they want to, but it's going to take a little while. Be patient. That That cup will be drank from, okay? You, you're Queen of Pentacles, you're good, you're good, you're doing what you need to do, you're settling down, you're dating, interesting, okay. That might be a good idea to do, I think. This person sort of... I think they're putting themselves in the friend zone, even though they kind of want more than that. They, they, they calculated sort of sounds negative. They're calculated, but not in a negative way. They're sort of like, I can think, I, I can see how this can pan out. So I'm going to stay here so that you get to here and then I'm not on the rebound. You're not on the rebound and, and we're in a good place and it, it can work that way. They, they're sort of logical. In that sense, that's the word I was looking for. They're they're coming at it from a place of logic. And uh I sort of feel like they pay attention. There's a lot of communication with this person. Opening up to you. I'm sort of this, interestingly seeing you being able to be yourself with this person and you're not really realizing who yourself was. So it's not like you're changing yourself in any way. It's sort of like this person energy and space allows you to figure yourself out. Like whereas maybe in other friendships and relationships in the past you haven't been able to you've sort of had to toe the line like oh, okay you're you're the alpha in this okay we'll go with what you want this is more sort of like 
balanced. It's very balanced. I'm going to check the time. I'm going to do the school pickup. Oh, you're good. So let's take a look at the outcome here. We've got the page of wands here for the outcome. I'm going to read this outcome now, and then I'm going to take it into the extended, where I'm going to ask about this person. I want to ask, do you already know them? Because I see them coming in. So I want to ask, do you already know them? Uh, when are they coming into your life? Let's have a when there. Um, if you do know them, if that's a yes, I'm going to ask, you know, how, how do they feel about you? Where are you in the heart space right now? And uh, what are their intentions towards you? There's some guidance from the universe. So let's have a look. Why is the page of wands here? Communic communication. Communicative. Yeah, two of cups. This this could be a... Um, this could be a same-sex relationship. Same-gender relationship. Uh... More than that, I, I can actually feel that like gender's not a thing. It's uh, not a not an issue with with some of you there. It's like you <laughs> don't really mind what's between someone's legs. It's more what's going on in here. And uh, that's actually really beautiful. It, it it might not even occur to you that this person is uh, an option because that gender has never been an option to you before and you know suddenly you're like seeing this person differently like oh hang on a minute I think I'm falling in love with you I've not really thought about that before and uh This is kind of where I'm seeing that this person's kind of actually allowing you to be you, whereas you didn't really know who you were before. You know, sort of feel, uh, it's suddenly a freedom that you have, you've never known. I'm sort of seeing that. It's kind of interesting. I like it. Let me know in the comments below about that. That's actually really beautiful. I was reading um, the bio synopsis for Cassandra Peterson's um, It's an autobiography when it's about yourself, isn't it? So it's, it's her autobiography. It is biography. Oh. It's autobiography, right? Tell me in the comments below because I'm suddenly losing my mind. Anyway, Cassandra Peterson, who is Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. And and uh, something kind of actually quite similar. As I was sort of saying this, after I'd said it, I was like, oh, yeah, that's what's kind of happened to her. Like, you know, in her later life, after she was married, she, you know, fell in love with somebody wonderful who was already a friend who was already living with her as a friend and the sort of over time fell in love with them and I think that's really beautiful nothing yet is set in stone this is really interesting please let me know what's going on I, I nothing yet is set in stone you you know you don't really maybe you just don't know and haven't been allowed to be completely yourself and this person coming in is utterly gonna let you be you and help you Figure yourself out without any pressure. Beautiful. Leave it to me. Everything will be all right. All mixed up by the cards. What? Just like synchronicities. It's making so many. I don't know. I'm just, uh, this is beautiful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And if you want to watch the extended, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. Bye!